how is everybody doing today i uh, hope everybody's getting out riding i decided to uh show you all the devil's triangle seeing how it's only a couple minutes from my house and i touched on it in previous videos about where it starts and all that but right where that car is turning that's the devil's triangle <laughs> So I'm really close to it. And now I'm technically on it. But what I want to do, there's two routes on this. The way I'm going is the uh, easy route. The other route, later in the video, you'll see why it's harder for unexperienced riders. And I decided I would do this video where you know somebody that hasn't rode switchbacks and all that would feel a little bit more comfortable riding them so if for some reason somebody takes this ride watches this video and you're coming from clinton down dutch valley to do the devil's triangle i'm going to try to save you some time because technically you're supposed to go into downtown Oliver Springs according to the maps but it also shows you taking a gravel road around this backside here which if you do that you're gonna get ran over by razors because of Windrock Park being right there but the reason why I'm gonna take this one turn off is because the red light up here does not like motorcycles <laughs> it will stay red and in Tennessee if it stays red and you have a safe way to cross you can go and run the red light that way that's legal in Tennessee but somebody from out of state it might not be legal for them to do and them not know so the best way to do it is just to bypass it completely which is what I'm about to turn take me a left right here now if you go all the way down to where those cars are there's a four-way stop you hang a right and you uh follow that all the way to the next stop sign and take a right and you'll be right at that red light I'm kind of hoping I don't have much wind noise. I had to modify my helmet, which I, I guess I can go ahead and talk about that. The uh, Harley Davidson helmet I had, had an extra extension for the chin curtain. So what I had to do was pull the front off here and undo two screws and separate. There's four clips on two on each side to separate the two halves and I kind of just trimmed it down a little bit to fit it a little better and snapped it back in over top of it and it's just a friction I guess from the being sandwiched is enough to uh, keep that chin curtain in place all right, right here we are taking it right here right across the street from the marathon so if you need gas before you go on it get you some I got plenty I think <laughs> and you're gonna make this little left here and this is gonna carry you to Brushy Mountain Penitentiary that does have tours and they have a restaurant and a brewery and some other things there right back in the tuck right perfectly in here in the mountains that would be brushy right there want to keep an eye out on this ride is uh <laughs> all this dirt from the damn razors 
but there's a street you can go to uh, Brushy and they ain't open so I'm not gonna pull down in there they're closed right now but I know I said this is the intermediate or the beginner way but as you can see there are some uh, decent little switchbacks here And there's going to be a lot of these turns here coming. They kind of taper out a little. And I'm not going to try to ride too hard because I got that cracked oil line, which I'm about to talk about now. I don't know if it was the cold weather did uh, did this or just a uh, hot and cold hot and cold but right below the uh, oil tank where the that's uh, oil tank nipple I guess where your drain hose plugs in my drain hose is uh got a couple cracks in it it's not seeping I need to get it changed but I was asked Harley and they're like oh no you need to do it now I'm like well I got the warranty uh, the extended warranty so fix it oh it don't hoses don't count on that I'm like okay well if I don't do nothing and it burns down the motor then you'll be changing the motor under warranty no no it's because of another faulty part I'm like what the crap so then I went to my actual mechanic who I trust and he told me, he said that it should be fine as long as it's not seeping. And he's the one that did the oil change last because I had the 20,000 mile service, which is uh, Bobby Phillips over at Hard Luck Cycles. Damn, I should have stopped and tagged one of those some good news yesterday after I, uh, I filmed and deleted all my footage <laughs> I just didn't like it uh, I call freedom performance because I'd seen online they had the two in the one side dump exhaust and it shows that it fit the breakout and the black line so I called to find out about that. I got the exhaust I need to get. I need to get a tuner, the gauge, the uh, cruise control, and the oil hose and all the goodies for, um, you know, I might as well change all three oils and make them the same brand. And I was looking at Redline or Mobile One And Lucas is the other I was looking at. And I think Redline's the most expensive. So, uh, reading their reviews, they're supposed to be really good. But, you know how reviews are. Speaking of reviews, I already touched on having to modify the helmet a little bit for the camera setup. Let's talk about why uh, I'm wearing my Oakleys instead of my Icon gloves that I just bought. That's because I uh, contacted Icon about the gloves because I took them out uh, probably the next day or the day after. I did my last video and I don't know if it was and this some of it could just be my hands um, they're sizing I should be in a large but as I wore them they started getting extremely tight like real bad tight so you know, I contacted Icon about that, and they was like, well, 
you know our our sizing is like you know some people have a large palm area and then have short sausage fingers or you know long et fingers <laughs> so he said that could be part of your reason he said no you're gonna have to return them to j and p cycles and tell them that you need extra large instead of large and they can warranty it and send me the extra large so i'm of course i'm like okay i called j and p and yeah i can only exchange them for a large but i'll have to spend another 75 dollars to get an extra large so i pretty much said screw that my girlfriend tried them on and she can wear them fine so i'm just gonna let her have those and i'm gonna find me oh yeah there you go i'm gonna find me a uh, another pair of gloves i think i'm just gonna go textile again instead of all leather that way uh that way i know it won't shrink on my hand i thought about trying to soak it down in like mink oil or something to stretch the leather but i just decided that probably wasn't gonna work and i'd ruin them and then she wouldn't be able to wear them so i know i am looking for hard knuckle i do want hard knuckle in case i hit the ground i don't bust them up yeah there's your view I know I want hard knuckles. I know I want. I wish Oakley. I mean, these are tactical gloves. They're not even motorcycle gloves. But they don't make motorcycle gloves, to my knowledge. So I'm gonna have to find an actual company that does make them and uh, get them. So if anybody has some suggestions, leave them down in the comments. Oh, and we got a dog here. <laughs> this is the uh, good swervy part of it. A lot of people talk about the dragon with its turns <laughs> this was just i think it's got better turns honestly and i'm not trying to uh erase the road today just trying to film a video so Did that and i hadn't been on this one and uh, well, been last year about the same time last year or so I forget a lot of the road. If I sat there and rode it constantly, then I'd know where I can actually take off and oh, do all that kind of fun stuff. But I don't have a problem with just cruising. And here we go, some more switchbacks. And a car. Now this part of the road washed out before. At the very top of this ride as you can see you got to kind of know your spots where you can take off and go or just cruise over it because of the razor drivers tearing everything up Everything from here on out is downhill. <laughs> T 
10 miles an hour. I'll take your word for it. <clears throat> Although I'm doing like 20. Now, here's the reason a lot of people go backwards because of the right here. There's several stretches that are high and tight to the right. And new riders have problems with switchbacks. So. That's why if you're a new rider watching this video, go through Coalfield, Oliver Springs, Coalfield, Petros, go that route. If you're experienced and like the turns, I would go uh, through Frost Bottom and up through Bryceville this way. Yeah, I know I'm not taking these turns right. I'm just goofing off. I ain't trying to say land speed records or anything. <laughs> I'm not in a hurry. Well, I kind of kind of am. I think I have a dead battery on my forward facing GoPro or rear facing, whatever you want to say. I can see my helmet camera is still recording for now. I don't know what juice it's got left. Pretty certain that one's dead. I don't see no flashy light. And I don't see no writing on the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, probably have to cut this video short. I do have a lot of footage, so I'm not gonna have the whole triangle. Basically, you get down to the bottom of this hill, or hill, <laughs> mountain, and you hit the low spot when it starts, and you get down in the valley there. You hang a right on frost bottom you just follow that all the way out and then you take another right and you're in oliver springs or you take a left you go down my street and go all the way up to uh lake city or rocky top as they renamed it But I'm going to let, I do have good things that I want to do, so I do need to build up. So if y'all like this video, hit the like button, hit the uh, subscribe button, and hit that little bell icon for notifications. And if you really want to help out, and get me out there more i will be doing a lot more content this summer i gotta build up so i can pull off this other thing i'm wanting to do so go in my videos if you like one a whole lot share it put it on facebook share it with the world but until the next one i'll see you later